modes of addressing in memory. Now there are five modes of addressing, the five main ones that we're going to use to look at today. And we've got immediate addressing, direct addressing, indirect addressing, relative addressing, and indexed or displacement addressing. So let's get started. Now the first one we're going to look at is immediate addressing. This is the simplest form of addressing and all it states is you have the opcode there which states load immediate and the operand which states the actual value to be used. So if we're to execute the instruction, we load, it says okay, we're going to load and we're going to load the value 4 and that will get pay, uh, passed on to the accumulator or wherever it needs to go to. So that's immediate addressing, literally whatever that number is gets loaded. The next one which is quite easy to confuse is direct addressing. Uh, actually it's not direct uh, because it passes it on to another place. So direct addressing is where the operand here, the 1, it states the location of the value to be used. So here LDD1 means we go to memory location 1 and we fetch whatever the operand is in there, the value, and that gets passed through to the accumulator. So that's direct addressing. The next one is indirect addressing, which is a bit like direct addressing, but it's got two steps to it instead of one step. So this is where the address, uh, the operand, is the address of the address of the data to be used. So for instance here, LDI2, that means go to memory location 2, and whatever value is there, that is the memory location of the value to be loaded. So it'll go up to 2, which says go to 5, and then when we get to 5, it contains the value 4, so that gets passed to the accumulator. Okay, the next one, which is indexed or displacement addressing. It's a little bit more complicated, this one. This one is where you combine the operand, so the number 5, with the contents of the index register here, hence why it's called indexed, and those two together make up the address of the data to be loaded. So here, LDX5, add the 5 to the contents to the index register, which is 3, that makes memory location 8, so the value 6 would be passed to the accumulator. There we go. And the final one we're going to look at, this is relative addressing. And this is where the operand forms the offset from the current address of the value to be used. So here, for instance, we've got LDR3, uh, which states that we're going to load relative and it's going to be three memory locations up. So LDR3, we go from 6, 7, 8, 9, and therefore the value to be used is 5, and that gets passed on to the accumulator. So those are the five common forms of memory addressing, and that's it. If you like the video, please do like it, and if you have any questions or comments or suggestions, then please just add it onto the YouTube page. Thank you very much.